Let's ride the Shanghai Metro. Jing'an Temple, here we are. There's the temple. So the reason why we're here is the first time I lived in Shanghai, I actually lived a couple of blocks this way. And two of my favorite hole in the wall wonton places were near it. Here is actually where I deserted my e-bike for God, 12 months. It was still here 12 months later. It's now since been removed since the pandemic, but I literally just parked an e-bike here and left it. So I used to live in this building right there. And my girlfriend used to live in that building there. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. Oui. Old place seems to have closed, unless it's had a renovation. Some of it seems familiar to me, but then the owners don't seem to be the same. Menu's still the same though, so let's see how it goes. Just like this morning, there's a special type of wild vegetable they put in this that's really popular in Shanghai. There's some mushrooms and a, maybe some shrimp paste. I couldn't even tell you what's in the broth. This whole thing cost me about five bucks. Probably the best value meal, lunch, whatever you call it, that I've had in the last 10 years, easily. Shanghai is not too hot at the moment, so I'm not breaking out in sweat all over while eating this, which is also a relief. One thing that is annoying me a little bit is one of the chili sauces I liked is no longer here. So I've got to make do with this other stuff. But I'm being picky. I'm glad I found it. I just found out pre-pandemic it was her friend that was running this place and they for whatever reason aren't doing it anymore and are back home. So now she's the boss. So it's been discovered. It is the same place, slightly different owners and a few minor changes, but all in all, fuck yeah. Mm.